What's up, you guys? Hope everybody's having a great day. I'm Biscuit Dog, and we're back in the desert, you guys. So, uh, at the end of the last episode, we were just outside of Stoat, and uh, things were pretty quiet. We were going to travel south and then east, so we traveled a little bit south now. We found ourselves a nice little dip here to kind of uh, heal up in, cook some steaks. There are a lot of skimmers south of Stoat, you guys. Just, uh, just a little FYI. If going south of Stoat, be ready for skimmers. Another thing we found, though, is Tengu's vault. Now, I've seen a few comments in the past warning me about the vault, like, don't go near the vault, don't open the vault, watch out for the vault. <laughs> so, uh, I think we're gonna go right there and see what's inside. It looks pretty chilling. I mean, wait a minute. This doesn't look good. Who are these guys? United City Samurai. The vault doesn't tell me who it belongs to. It just says Ancient Citadel, Tengu's Vault. And uh, this piece of sand is covered in skimmers, you guys. You can only see one there, but I dispatched four or five of them last night, and there's a bunch of them over here. Actually, uh, let's, just go, uh, let's just go take care of these skimmers really quickly. Hopefully more don't pop up out of the sand. You never know, you guys. Oh no, they've disappeared. Oh well, we'll go get the loot anyway. So, I'm running two mods at the moment. That's Shidan's interior and exterior design, and Luminaire's 256 squad limit mod. Both are awesome, and I recommend them highly. If you're interested in either of those two mods, just go look down in the description. Everything will be there for you. Alright you guys, let the looting commence. Who's got space? We're already running out of space. Okay, he doesn't... Uh, Dusty's got some space, that's not the space we need. Let's find someone with a nice big backpack. Oh dear god. Crush them! Crush them now! You lot go after that one. Go after that one. Fly. <laughs> Watch out. Is everybody dead? That didn't take long. I guess these dudes softened them up for us. Alright. Let's get in here and start harvesting the meats. Who's got space for meats? I think Saru's still cooking back at the campfire, and she definitely doesn't have any space for meat. Man, we're doing pretty good on meat, you guys. Let's find somebody with a trader's backpack that's got some space in it. This'll do nicely. Come on, Fergus. Alright, let's get Fergus in here, take some of these meats. Get in there. Alright, Growbag, time to start making that money, guy. How much is this helmet worth? We're gonna leave that one in the field. Okay, let's loot all these guys really quickly, make some of this money. Each one, each one of their clubs is worth about 800 cats, 5 to 800 cats, so, uh... They're a nice little earner. We're making a few thousand cats here, just quick. Let's grab that. It pays to just check everything as well, because sometimes they've got pretty good quality stuff on them. Alright, you guys, some quick stakes, some quick loot, nothing wrong. Let's get back to the hole. Uh, it's burning man for skimmers down here though, you guys. Who's in this hole? They were... Oh no. Empire Peasants. His name's Hand. <laughs> wow, he's... He's really brave. Come on, Hand. There's no way we could get to you in time, buddy. I'd send the doctor, but I don't really want to pick a fight with these three skimmers. What is this? It's a buried skimmer. Is it alive? I wonder, you guys. Is that a skimmer hiding under the ground? Is that how you can tell? I've never seen that before. That's very strange. That's definitely a skimmer. Oh, they've seen us. Okay. It's on. Let's do it! Wow, Fly, you're gonna go down, dude. Get him! Get him! <laughs> this is crazy. Let's see if we can attack this one. I don't know what this one's doing. Maybe it's like pupating into something awful. Nope, that's it hiding. That's pretty cool. So uh, if you concentrate hard enough, you could probably tell where they are. I've never, I've never noticed that before. It just looks like a plant. I'm gonna keep my eye out now, though. Come on, you guys. Come on. Why is Dusty down? Dusty, no, no. All right, Doctor. Do your job. 
Do your job, damn you. Fergus, 16 more sticks. Alright, so you guys can see our problem. The, this is definitely a skimmer-rich environment. I don't know how close we're going to get to the vault before we get jumped again. But uh, we're going to try. We're going to try ever so slowly to creep our way towards the vault. We're definitely going to meet resistance. I mean, these manhunters got into a bunch of trouble down here. Looks like they left these skimmers, though. Man, they should take the stakes. I wish these guys would loot the skimmers so they don't get up again. But uh, I think what we're going to do is sort of follow these guys in. And uh, try and sail through their wake, if that makes sense. They're going to attract all the skimmers, hopefully, and we're just going to breeze on through. The nice thing about the Manhunters is, for some reason, they don't hate us either. So, if they see us, it's not going to be too much of a problem. The plan, I think, for this vault is... We're going to set up some kind of satellite base, like we usually do. You know, fireplace, bedrolls, the usual. We'll maybe keep the doctor back and we'll have Saru down there cooking. I think that's probably the best thing to do. That way, if things go really, really badly wrong in the vault, uh, we've got a place to kind of triage, we've got a place to go back to and uh, be safe. We don't have to worry about finding a place to uh, set up the bedrolls, make food, all that kind of stuff. It'll already be there, just in case it all goes wrong. Uh, the, the trick is to get it as close as possible to the target, though, because you don't want to be running too far to the bedrolls. So, I think we'll set up three bedrolls, take one with us, keep Saru back, keep keep the doctor with us, most probably. She's m most useful in the middle of a fight. And uh, then we're going to hit this vault, you guys. It's certainly looming. And I'm almost 100% sure there's very bad things in here. But we're going to check it out anyway, because we got it. These guys look like they're avoiding it too. Big fella's got a headache. <laughs> Alright you guys, let's get some more steaks quickly before these things wake up. This is a quite a lucrative meat harvesting area, I've got to say. If you built your base out here, you would you wouldn't even have to you wouldn't even need a farm. There's so many skimmers that the meat would just flow. Um, maybe maybe it's a coincidence. Maybe I've just run into a lot of skimmers, but it seems like this patch of sand is infested with skimmers. So if you're not a farmer, this might be a place to uh, this might be a place to set up your base because you're not going to need to farm at all. There's just going to be meat flying at your face in the form of these things. Which is, which is awful, but also lucrative. So if you're strong enough to deal with it, I mean, you're not going to run out of food, you guys. I don't know. Let's just see. Fergus didn't have any raw meat on him when we started this, so he's got 50, 60, I don't know, 70 steaks already? And we came from over there? So <laughs> that's not bad. Not bad at all. If you can survive it. Alright, let's get Kenshin to set up some of these bed rolls. Camping bed, how close can we get? Uh, we can get pretty close, man. Okay, so we're gonna set up down there somewhere. We don't need to set one up right now. So we're gonna be able to get our triage base, like, right close to the vault. That's gonna help us. There's so many skimmers down here. Are these ones dead too? Those are dead too. Just more free food. It's even better if you can follow a party of hard men around, because you don't even need to fight. We're just following the manhunters around, and they're leaving like a wake of skimmers. Ooh. It works in our favor either way, because if the skimmers get them eventually, we're just gonna loot the manhunters. So, either way, we're making money, you guys. This is a pretty good scheme. Just follow people around the desert until, like, until something awful happens to them and then steal their stuff. Completely legitimate business. Yeah, it looks like we're fighting skimmers again, because we're going to need these loots. Wow, traveling together like this, we are very slow, though, because some of us have got bad legs. Look at this slave, man. Oh, left leg, very, very bad. Flies right legs jacked up. A lot of us have got leg injuries. At least we didn't have too far to go. Hopefully we don't have to run away from this place. Eh, we'll handle it. <laughs> okay, let's get Fergus in there to clean the meat. Yes, walk off down that way. Oh, these guys are in big trouble. 
You greasy creatures leave me alone. You leave me alone. I'm taking the treasures of your family's bellies. And if you don't leave me be, I'm gonna take your treasures too. Fight them! Fight them all! You guys, get in there. Let's do this thing. Nice, Fergus. Nice. Who's next? Okay. Let's do this as quickly as possible. We don't want them waking up. Get in there, Fergus. We're just gonna take the meats for now. Man, we're running out of space already. Definitely not gonna go hungry down here. Yes. Yes, give me all the meats. This is ridiculous, you guys. This is seriously ridiculous. Rom, what have you got on you? Yeah. Doctor? Doctor's got space for meat. Okay, Doc. Let's get in there. Who? Who dares get up? Who dares challenge us? Crush him! The doctor's got almost 50 meat already. <laughs> Good times. Who was that one that just went down? Was it you? Lovely! Alright, these guys are healing each other up. These guys are healing each other up. I gotta be careful out here. What? What? What do you want from me? I'm doing nothing. I'm doing nothing. I'm just, uh... What's your... Whoa, buddy! That was very rude. That was very rude. You guys have just walked into a world of pain. No witnesses. <laughs> That's our motto. Should have just let me t take the stuff I found. It's only fair. All right, Wall, get in here. Are we brainless? Are you brainless? Dude, I don't care. I don't care factions. I don't I don't care standings. Everybody hates me. You picked on the wrong dudes. You should have just let us pick up the scrap. We were just here for the scrap. We didn't want to hurt you. We didn't want to hurt you. You were kind of our skimmer bait. That's all. Now look what you've done. Get in here and take this man's things. He doesn't deserve them. Okay, well that's them robbed. Who the hell? Are these cannibals? No, those are not cannibals. That's the holy nation. This is not good. This is not good. I should have known. That's a huge patrol. We want to avoid this at all costs, you guys. Where are the skimmers when you need them? Look at these guys. There's so many of them. Let's take a look at the stats of your, uh, of your average Joe here. Strength zero. Toughness, 1 times. KO points, minus 24. Run speed, 18. Stealth, plus 2. Okay, attack, 22. Defense, 20. Okay, so they're not they're not the greatest, but they're led by some pretty bad dudes. And uh, this could be a problem. These guys are going to be a problem. I'm thinking the vault is a holy nation spot now. Are we close enough to find out? What does it say? It just says ancient citadel. Prison. Oh, I'm intrigued now, you guys. What's inside this place? How big is it? It's just this one building? So, I mean, how many people can be inside here? Who's the prisoner? There are too many questions. We've got to find out what the hell's going on in here. But first, we've got to avoid this patrol. So, they're pretty much coming up behind us, I think. Yeah, this is going to be risky. I'm going to try hide 
and uh, wait for them to pass us by. Where's the gate? So the gate's up there. They'll most likely go up this way, if that's where they're going. So, let's find ourselves another nice little deep hole here. That's a nice deep hole, but it's not big enough for all of us. This is probably the best one around. Let's get ourselves in here. That should probably do us. Let's sneak as well. Hopefully these guys don't see us at all, because uh, we're going to be in big trouble if they do. This is going to be a huge fight. Hopefully they uh, they run into some skimmers now. It doesn't look like they're being bugged by the skimmers at all, which kind of ticks me off. We sort of cleared the path for them. That's not great. <laughs> well, we started this episode just over there. It took us the whole episode to get just over here. Maybe in two episodes time we'll get to the doorway of the prison. This is crazy. This is a real hot spot and not in a good way, you guys. Hate to leave you on a cliffhanger, but I think I'm gonna leave it there, you guys. In the next episode, we're gonna hit this prison, do a mad jailbreak, most probably. I don't know who this prison belongs to or who indeed is a uh, is tied up in there, but it's it's gonna be good one way or the other, you guys. I think I'm gonna leave it there for today. Thank you very much for watching, you guys. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace!